What works better for super simple basic jobs? Cast iron or carbon steel? Hi, I'm Jed, this is Cook Culture. So today I'm doing a very, very simple job and this is gonna be a quick and to the point video. I'm using a number 10 field skillet and I'm using the 12 inch, 12 and a quarter, 12 and three quarter inch mat for a fry pan. Um, why is one called a skillet and one called a fry pan? Good question. Uh, so what I'm doing today is I'm going to just cook onions. And the idea here is that I'm going to see which one of these two pans is preferred you know, by me, because it's gonna be a personal choice, but you visually, um, which one is going to do a better job at this simple, simple task. So I've got two pans that are about the same age, seasoned about the same way, or as well as each other. Uh, one, of course, is lighter than the other. So the mat fur is about a pound lighter. So five and 5.12, five, five pounds, 12 ounces or so for the field and just over that, though it's four pounds, 13 ounces or so for the matte fur. So the, the matte fur is a lighter pan. That will be a difference for sure, that always is. Weight is a consideration all the time when we're using cookware. Um, but we are cooking under a medium heat here. I've got this set, both pans set equally at a six out of 10 or the, the, the induction cooktop that I'm using goes to nine and a boost, and the boost is a, a big power uh, hit. Uh, so they're you know, well over halfway. So I'd say you know, out of a scale of 100%, they're probably sitting at around 65% temperature. So what I'm gonna do today that I don't usually ever do is that I'm gonna use an infrared gun to get the surface temperature of the two pans and then also as we're cooking. Uh, the reason I don't usually use an infrared gun is that they can be inconsistent. They're not always accurate. Uh, the reflection of the metal can give different readings and they can be a bit misleading. So relying heavily on an infrared gun, I have not had great results in the past where if I can and I try to promote really using your senses to understand where your pan is at, then you're going to usually have a better job in cooking generally instead of trying to be too scientific, use more of the art form, if that makes sense. So I'm going to measure these two pans right now, the surface temperature, see where we're sitting at, and then I'm going to put the equal amount of grapeseed oil, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of grapes grapeseed oil on both skillets, uh, fry pan skillet, uh, and then I'm going to get the diced onions on and let them cook and we'll see the results. Okay, so what do we got here? So we're gonna go to the field pan, 448 Fahrenheit. I'm going over to the mat fur, 272. Get a little closer. Okay, if I get closer, I'm at 300-ish. 450. Yeah, 442, 371, 293. Like 100 degrees Fahrenheit different between the two pans sitting at exactly the same temperature. And I've used these two hobs many times. They really produce the same amount of heat. So um, that's an interesting start. So let's see where we go from there. We're going to get one tablespoon on there, one tablespoon on there. All right. So. You know, the pan says it's 450. Fields handles get quite hot quite quickly. That one did not at all. That pan, the two pans do not seem radically different in temperature. Uh, maybe a bit more in here, but anyways, you know, that's what it's saying. Okay, so we've got an equal amount of diced onions quite a lot in each pan. So we're gonna be pushing the capacity here. And now we're just gonna let these guys cook away. Okay, so these guys have been cooking for about 10 minutes and they're just starting to soften nicely. So the heat is not 
very excessive. Like, this is not a way to brown and get these guys crispy too quickly. Uh, but, you know, interestingly, that 100 degrees different Fahrenheit uh, that I showed you earlier when I was measuring the pans, it's not equating to any real difference, really. Maybe the one in the field is cooking a little bit faster, uh, and I'll show you that right here. But, you know, things are working pretty equally. Uh, what I'm going to also do, just make a little hole in each one of these here and measure the pan again. So uh, we'll take a look at that. Okay, so we'll go measure the pan. What do we got here? We're going to measure in the middle. 254. 255, okay. So now things are looking the same temperature. 311. 317, 246, 247, 226. See what I mean when I said earlier? I just like, it, sometimes it's just hard to trust this thing. You know, I'd like to go off of uh, looking and feel and smell. So things are coming together here. I'm gonna keep going. 10 minutes so far, we've been cooking these guys down. A lot of onions in each one of these pans. Uh, so we're just gonna keep letting these guys cook. You know, when I, the closer I kind of look at these guys and I'm cooking with them, they, the field does look like it's cooking a little bit faster. Uh, no, better, but a little bit faster. So let's just see uh, how things play out. Okay, so we are at 17 minutes of cooking. And uh, things are looking really well browned or browning over on the, uh, the field here. Uh, everything's looking really nice and consistent. Still, you know, I, I want it to be a little bit more soft and a little more golden. Um, more of the sugars to develop in the onions uh, is what I'm looking for here. So I'm still going to let that cook. Now over into the mat fur, um, some, some is starting to happen. Some golden sort of colors starting to happen. Um, but it's definitely not as thoroughly cooked as over on the field. Uh, it's, it's cooked, but it's just less cooked. So, you know, that heat that it showed originally, the, the pickup in the heat, uh, very well could have been that. Like I've said, I've, I've used these two burners a lot and the two outside ones are very, very similar. This inside one can sometimes be a little bit cooler than the two outside ones. Uh, I don't know why in an electric cooktop that that's how that is. But, uh, um, you know, it's, it's cooking well and everything's perfectly done. It's just that I'm finding for what I like, the browning, the color, the flavor to me is developing better in the field uh, from what I see. So, uh, yeah, we'll just continue to let it go. I'm, I'm not ready to finish either one of these guys yet here. Uh, I want to get some more flavor in, in both of them. I've added salt and some garlic powder to both of these to season them. So we're just going to let them keep cooking. Okay, so things are starting to look a little bit jammy here. And that's the look that I'm going for. I want them to be a little jammy. And so that's happening in the field. And then when I move over to the mat fur, like things are cooking and it's looking great. It's just not as gold. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's no issue here. Uh, it's just not as browning. And I find for me, browning develops that flavor. But, uh, you know, it's starting to jam just a little bit. But, uh, you know, it definitely, it is behind, you know, just in the whole process here. And we're chasing 20 minutes. Um, that is behind the field pan. Okay, so we're at 25 minutes. And these guys here, are looking fantastic and we're going to turn those ones off but I'm going to keep cooking the mat fur actually with the mat fur I might even they're cooked I'm just gonna turn it up one number so from six to seven just to brown them a little bit to try to get them to be match more like the uh, the field pan here so I'll give those a few minutes at a little bit of a higher heat all right, so interesting tidbit here. I've cranked up the heat just a little bit and I'm starting to get some carbonation. So I'm starting to get some like, not burning, but cooking food onto the surface here with the higher heat. And so it's starting to give me some browning, which is excellent. But over here, 
you know, I just give this a little wipe out and that pen had nothing stuck onto it. There was no scrubbing needed. I just rinsed it out where I am to get the same browning. I'm having to turn up the heat and that's, you know, not that that's going to be a big deal. My chain mail will get that out without an issue, but it's just a little bit different. Okay. So those guys are done 30 minutes, more heat, more food cooked onto the surface. Um, but they are looking fantastic. We'll get them into the bowl and we'll have a side-by-side -side comparison and a bit of a taste test. All right, so first, the matte fur. Mm. I love cooked onions. <laughs> They're one of my favorite. Salty, garlicky. Oh, they're so good. That was from the matte fur. Beautifully done, absolutely beautiful. So from the field, Yeah, yeah, pretty much bang on, exactly the same. Um, I'm maybe a tiny bit jammier with cranking that heat there. No, no, it's that they're hotter. They've been off. The other ones were sitting for five, seven minutes. So that's the only difference there. I would say so five minutes longer with the uh, matte fur and higher heat for the last five minutes created pretty much exactly the same result. So the big question here is, was I cooking apples to apples? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the exact same two pans, switch them over, give them the same amount of seven minutes of preheat time, and then we're gonna measure the heat of the pans just to see, is this a hob issue, cooktop issue, or is this a pan issue? All right, so here we go. What do you got? 252. 408. So same temperature. Is it six? Six, same time. So, you know, it is a different color, this pan. I have had issues with different colored pans because when I put my hand over these pans, there's not such a massive, massive difference, but these two pans are different colors. But that is pretty warm and that actually does feel warmer. So there is more warmth there. So interesting. So this guy is, is heating cooler uh, on the same variables uh, where the field is heating up better. I don't know if better, like if they're both the same, like you get used to which one your, your skillet's gonna work at. So I don't know if one is better than the other. I had faster, better results in the field. Things got more golden, things cooked through more quickly, um, and I had to do more work and extra work in the mat fur to get the same result. So, you know, what would I choose? I would, of course, use the field over the mat fur to do that job. Uh, it's more efficient. But I did, knowing the two pans, I knew what I needed to do with the mat fur to get the, the job done. Uh, so interestingly, you know, they say that carbon steel heats up faster. Uh, I find with really heavy, dense carbon steel, you know, matte fur is a heavy pan for a carbon steel pan. There's not a massive amount of, of speed in the way in which it gets a temp over a good piece of iron. Um, so, you know, if you're using a lighter pan compared to a heavier pan, you're definitely going to cook faster or heat, preheat faster. I don't think that's like carbon better than cast. It's light over, over heavy. Uh, so, you know, this has been really interesting to me. I'd never seen this kind of nuances between these two. I still happy to use both of these pans. They're both excellent, high quality iron pans. Uh, it was just, you know, the field did outperform. It's a better piece of cookware for that job. And this was only one job of thousands of things we could do. Uh, I think it was indicative of the difference between these two pieces. It was a good, easy baseline. Um, but for sure, you know, in the comments, people can tell me I should cook all different types of things. I get that. I wanted something super, super simple that we could just really see the results from easily, visually, and I can tell you uh, it, it worked out really, really well. So any questions, any comments, any other way that you think I could have done this in exactly the same sort of comparison, uh, any variables that you would have suggested, uh, I'd love to know. So uh, thanks so much.